Hey y'all, so I'm back with my Uniwigs Aura Skin Top Human Hair Topper. This is the seven and a half by seven and a half base. Um, there are bigger ones. This is kind of one of the smaller ones and I was actually surprised with how well it covers my hair loss. And I did a full review. If you wanna see that, um, just go to my YouTube channel. It should be right before this one. But now I wanted to show you how I have been wearing it. So occasionally I'm wearing it like this, which I love, but I'm hot natured. Um, and as soon as I start to sweat, my bio hair will start to curl. And if I'm not prepared for that with a curled wig, then I want to put it up. But another thing I've been doing with it is running with it. I have actually been wearing a ball cap because it fits so much better under a ball cap than my wigs do. Cause I do work out with my hair on, even though I'm working out at home or running in my neighborhood, it's just, it's a comfort thing for me. So I'm going to show you what I've been doing and how easy it is to wear this in an updo. I love it. So first of all, obviously, I mean, you guys probably don't need a lesson in putting your hair up, but maybe you do. Um, I like to first put it over my ears because the goal here, make sure you can see me, is to get some volume with it or get it, get the pony high without the topper just scrunching up. So I'm kind of, kind of doing that, working that. And then I'm using, you can see this uh, ponytail holder because these give more volume. That's why I like using, I don't even know what these are called. Like they look like phone cords to me. You youngins don't know what a phone cord is. But now I am just going to do it like regular. And so this is the part where you've got to start making it real. Like I, it's going to be a messy look. If you're going for a higher up, it's going to look a little messy, which again, I like that. I, it looks um, cute and uh, not super put together. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some of my bio hair out from the bottom here. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can to kind of give it some volume down below. And then I'm gonna pull out these pieces. This topper is layered, so it kind of helps with these pieces. And I'm gonna also pull some of my hair out as well to look. And I actually wore my hair like this to some functions with some friends, and I loved it. It kept me, me cool, and I felt like it was cute. I hadn't worn a ponytail in so long like this, but I mean, I, I like this. If you're, if, uh, you're someone who likes to wear ponytails and you're worried about that, this is definitely an option. So I also grabbed, y'all don't laugh at my ghetto old school beat up hat, but this is my favorite ball cap of all time. I got it from Walmart for like four bucks and it says the great state of Oklahoma. Cause that's where I'm from. If you didn't know and where I reside. Um, and this is one I literally run in this. I'm sorry, that's gross, but this is what I wear. I wanted to show you how I actually do it. And so I can just, I'm actually running a race tomorrow, you guys, which would be Saturday the 10th for those of, I'm not sure when I'm posting this. So I may have already run it by the time I may or may not have survived it. Okay. Look at this. Would you know, would you know that that's not all of my hair? This is so great. I love it. Like I said, I'm obsessed. I did not grab a hair clip with me, but the other thing, oh, I thought I had one in here. That's okay. That's okay. The other thing I will do, now be careful if you're pulling it off. I like to grab, well, we can also loosen it. It's probably the best bet. And then there you go. Grab it off. I mean, like, yeah, I'm one of the girls. I grow hair on my head. Yeah. Like, I don't need help. I don't need help or hair. <laughs> but I do. And I'm open about it and everybody knows. And I still like it to look cute. So, that is one of the my go-to ways to style it. Another way, which, like I said, I don't have. Oh, I'm so bummed that I don't have my clip in here. But I can use, I can try to use, maybe get the idea, um, one of these alligator clips. Is that what they're called? I don't know. I don't do hair for a living. Um, I was... I was cleaning my house the other day. It was before I'd even attempted to put this in a ponytail. Like I told you, whenever I test drove this, before I did a review, I test drove it. Um, and I was cleaning my house with it on. And I was like, oh, I, just, I can't, I can't do it. It's too much hair. <laughs> and so uh, I grabbed a claw clip and I just did something like this. 
this is probably not going to hold it all but I just had it like this in the claw, claw clip for most of the day and it was great it stayed it looked this doesn't look quite as natural or look look good but you get the you get the gist it's great it's great this is now my go-to wig or topper that I grab for my runs my workouts going out with the girls any of that and since it's human hair I can wash it and straighten it or curl it and and do all that so when it gets gross from my runs I just wash it real fast and she's good as new I actually have not washed her yet so it's a little TMI for you <laughs> I have um straightened her a few times I have because she's had some bend in her because it's human hair so when I put in a ponytail it will kind of get a bend the longer it's in like your your natural hair would but the ponytail I mean sold right there right <laughs> again this is the seven and a half by seven and a half upgrade aura skin top human hair topper with layers again the layers um which I think is great for putting it up and if you want to if you want to save 15 percent because hair is expensive so you want to save every bit you can I do have a code you can use gen c15 that's j-e-n-c-1-5 and that'll save you 15% and all the details will be in the caption. Alrighty. Thanks for watching you guys. Bye.